This is Darren McCulley with Professional Control Corporation. Today I'm going to show you how to display your G120 drive faults on the Siemens HMI. Uh, the drive has to be firmware version 4.7 or above and we're using TIA Portal version 13 Service Pack 1 or above for this application. Uh, there's a white paper on our website pccweb.com underneath the blog area that um, shows this application also. So I have my drive and my HMI PLC configured. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to my HMI screen and then drop in an alarm view underneath the properties. You can choose which alarm types you want to display depending on what your needs are. Next I'm going to create a connection between the drive and HMI, so the communication driver is 7300-400, Ethernet, make sure my drive or my HMI address is correct along with my drive address. Um, if you want to do more drives, you can add more connections and just change IP address appropriately. And then um, next I am going to create tags for my fault and alarm, so drive one faults, and it's going to have a connection of the one I just created, so connection one, and the data block address here pertains to the parameter number in the drive for the faults, so it's parameter 947, so it's db947.dbw0, do the same for my drive one alarms. And then that parameter number pertains to parameter 2110, which is the alarms in my drive at DBW0. Uh, next, I need to create a um, text list with all my faults. So I'll add a new one called faults and alarms. And for the value, I want it to be single value. And I need to go to my, um, where I have my faults and alarms list. So we'll find that. So I've got that here. It's also located on our website. So we'll expand that. I just copy and paste the error number and the long name. Copy that, right click into the value field, paste, overwrite, then you'll see the fault value corresponds to this text that will display on my fault screen. Um, next thing I need to make an HMI alarm, it's going to be an analog alarm, add a new one, call it drop. Drive one faults. I want to see this is what I'm going to see displayed. So drive one semicolon space space, and then I want to insert a text field. So basically that text list that I created just a second ago, and which alarms going to display. It's based upon or fault number is going to display. It's based upon this tag. So drive faults. It's an error class. I want it to be triggered by my drive faults tag. And if the drive faults tag has a value of zero or higher, it'll display. Create another one. Drive one alarms. So again, I want to see drive one, semicolon, space, space, this text list. So insert text list. Faults and alarms. This time we're doing the alarms and it's a warning. So we're going to change that and we're going to make it triggered upon the alarms with a value of zero or greater. So that's all that is required. Go to my HMI, compile it. And then do a simulation to simulate my HMI and test the application. So 
So right now I've got this cyclic profinet, this profinet error or alarm on my drive. So you see, you're seeing that displayed. I'll run my drive and, and create a uh, fault. So I got this DC link under voltage fault because I turned my drive off and on back real quick when it was running. So I can, I can't acknowledge these faults until on the HMI until I acknowledge them in my drive. So there, the um, DC link under voltage fault went away in my HMI. And it is that easy to display drive faults on your HMI. I'm just going back real quick so you can see drive one semicolon and then this fault value pertains to here drive one semicolon in this text list. So you could have really anything in here that you wanted to see displayed in here. Um, and that's all. Thank you very much.